Um, we, in just a few minutes, we'll be adjourning uh, SoilCon for today. But as a reminder, we are back tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific time on Wednesday. And tomorrow we'll be hearing more about taking the principles that we've learned about today and moving those into practice. Um, so we wanted to uh, uh, just recap some of the common themes that we heard from our speakers today. Uh, one is that moving away from synthetic inputs appears to become more necessary as we move into the future. There are a wide range of um, economic and environmental uh, reasons for that, uh, that need. Um, reducing tillage and relying on long-term input management and the, the known principles of soil health can improve carbon storage and reduce reliance on those inputs. Those, those principles of soil health are being proven out in research. Um, just as a reminder, that's um, continuing uh, continuous soil cover or soil armor, plant diversity, minimal or no soil disturbance, continual presence of living plants and roots, and livestock integration. Um, we see that over time, there are positive benefits uh, to both the farm and the public from in implementing soil health practices, including cover crops. We heard from several speakers that soil microbiology is important, but uh, our ability to manage those very uh, in any specific way is, is um, still a, a growing science. So be critical of products that sound too good to be true. As far as we can, can tell so far, there are no silver bullets, but um, I've heard it said that there's, there's um, silver shot. So there are a wide range of practices known to promote the growth and functioning of existing microbial communities, including the nitrogen fixers already in the soil. Um, so some of what we heard is that um, one of the terms that I heard brought up uh, several times today is microbial necromance. Ne necromass. <laughs> so um, we know that soil microorganisms are important in uh, many functions in the soil, including storing soil carbon. So yes, microorganisms decompose organic matter, but they are also critical in storing organic matter. And that's largely by doing their acts of living and dying. So that necromass is a meaningful contributor to soil organic matter, particularly when it becomes protected in various ways um, through uh, clay association, uh, calcium carbonate association, um, and um, other kinds of protection. And our management of soil can aid that protection by covering the soil, reducing, um, um, reducing disturbance and um, enhancing soil aggregation for that protection. So lots of great messages from our speakers today. We're so happy that you could all um, join us. And, uh, don't forget to vote for your favorite soil artwork. Um, and please join us tomorrow at 8 a.m. Thank you.